No internet, no television, no telephone. I don't even want to hear you telling it on the mountain, girl. You are grounded. But, Daddy, I had to help our nest. He was having a family crisis. Yeah, and you had a boy in your room and you didn't tell me. Oh, hey, guys, come on in. Uh, what is this? What, Daddy? I can't help it if the mountain came to me. <laughs> Mountains or boulders? <laughs> You're showing off is giving me a headache. Then maybe she's taking aspirin and wash it down with a six pack. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Look, I can't laugh or talk, but I could look if you want to, you know, pull up your shirt again. <laughs> oh, you know what? By the way, I forgot. No flirting. You granted for two weeks. Two weeks? I don't have any other friends. You're punishing me too. Well, I'm sure you have done something to deserve it. Your clothes, for example. <laughs> yes, Britt. Maybe you should. Pack out your clothes more carefully. Boy, I've been working on a muscle, too. It's my foot muscle. Now get out. Daddy, this is cruel and unusual punishment. I should call child services. Oh, you could if you could use the phone. Now go to your room. <sighs> Hello? What? I do not want to hang out and braid each other's hair. What part of no other friends don't you understand? <laughs> Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. concludes our tour of the barber shop. Don't feed the barbers, because they might try to follow you home. <laughs> and if the barbers don't follow you home, then the rats will. Candy, we do not have rats. Oh, yeah. We don't have roaches, either. Uh, don't listen to her, Mr. Adams. Uh, all the fumes from her nail polish sometimes make her delusional. She even think that's her real hair. <laughs> anyway, my client is very wealthy. Now, he'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Now, he wants to finalize this deal in 24 hours. So you'll be hearing from me. All right. <laughs> Candy, why are you trying to sabotage this deal? Well, you know what, Flex? I can't help it. You know, I don't want to lose the barbershop. <coughs> hey, whoa. You, whoa, you, you OK? <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, without the shop, I don't know where to hold my weekly poker game. Did my dad know about that? <laughs> Did I say poker? <laughs> Man, I meant Monopoly. <laughs> I know the universe has a grand plan for all of us. But until it reveals itself, what are we going to do? <laughs> hey, hey, look, don't, don't worry. You guys are talented, hard-working barbers. Well, thank you. That's yeah. not a point, there, bro. You find other jobs. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Whose classy 63 Porsche is that parked out front? <laughs> oh, my bad. That's mine. <laughs> You like that, bro? Oh, uh, my bad. It's my little brother, Kev. Kev, that's Ace, and that's Manny. They're new here. But I'm from America. I sing God Bless America right now. Dios bendiga mi America. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Yo, man, you be tripping, man. What are you doing here? I thought you were on the uh, Monsters of Rap tour cutting hair with Hypnotic Be Exotic. Well, I was, but I ran into Moms and Pops in Atlantic City. They were lying to see Stu Ross. Lou Ross' brother, the magician. Oh, uh, right. Anyway, Pops told me you were selling the shop. I'm here to take it off your hands. Oh, if you take over the shop, did you tell Dad that? Well, I told him, and he said no, but Dad is getting old anyway. We should put him in a home. <laughs> hey, now, listen, I have to do what Pops tells me to do. But Flex, I'm family. Oh, now we family. Three years ago, we were the people standing in the way of your success. You remember that? Of the people standing in the way of my success. <laughs> now I'm out of here. I got a chance to go on tour with Cisco. With the kind of heat he got, I may never be back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Relax, you exaggerate, man. You got more stories than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Y'all know I've been there. I got some keychains. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's up? Hey, yo, Kev, you must be uh, in town for the new Hypnotic concert, right? All right, well, I'm gonna need two tickets for me and my girl and two tickets to Scout. Oh, you don't have a girl, baby. <laughs> what you think I need the scalping money for? I'll take two tickets, because those hot dogs at the stadium are delightful. <laughs> Yo, look, look, I'm retired, man. Life is too short to be away from loved ones. I want to be somewhere where people care, you know? A place where everybody knows your hair. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Nice. I'm, I'm not even buying it, man. It's just like you to come and want to take over the shop when it's convenient for you. Flex, man, you can't sell the barbershop. It's in the family. That's what we've been trying to tell him. That this is not just a business. This is our home. Our job. Our exercise. Our work release program. <laughs> Flex, I can't believe you're not going to sell me the barbershop. It's my birthright. Well, I was born before you, which means I have the right to do whatever I want. <laughs> Man, Daddy, I can't believe you sent Dwayne to escort me home from school to keep me from hanging out with my friends. Uncle Kevin! Ah! Is your daddy treating you okay? He grounded me, Uncle Kevin. Can I come live with you? Oh, sure, you want to go live with Uncle Kevin? I'll take it in myself. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we're here. And Spirit, why are you here? I didn't come with her. I came over here with Dwayne. Nobody said I couldn't be his friend. All right, Spirit, you have overstayed your welcome. Why don't you go make some earrings out of fish hooks or something? What's up, Lil D? Oh, uh, did you say something, Flex? Or was that the ghost of bad haircuts pants? <laughs> oh, come on, Dwayne. I was 10 years old. I was just starting to cut heads. Because of you, I became a master barber. And because I was the guinea pig in your experiment, I have to wear a hat to this day. <laughs> Go on, Dwayne, show on. Ma No. <laughs> come on. Does it still swell up in the rain? <laughs> That's for following me home. What? <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you guys laugh for a change. <sighs> Look, Flex, I want that barbershop. Now, I'm your baby brother. I know what Pop said, but at least give me a chance to buy it. Kev, man, I, I have a buyer who wants to close by noon tomorrow. I can match his offer. <sighs> Kev, this is like the time you wanted me to co-sign with your credit card. Man, you maxed out on one purchase. A three-finger gold nugget ring, Kevin? Wh wh where's the ring? Where's the ring? I mean, it, it got played out, so I melted it down to some gold fronts. Kev, you are too impulsive. You don't think things through. I mean, you're always changing your mind. And when something better comes along, you, you, you're gone without thinking about how it affects other people. Look, I'm older now, Flex. Now, give me a chance. When did you become so hard? Look at me, brother to brother. I want to do this. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to come up with the money by noon tomorrow like you said you could. If not, I'm selling the shop. Don't let me down, brother. All right, deal. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 you don't want to know. You don't want to know. They're going to build a space station on the moon. Then they're going to launch from there to Mars. Oh, man, brother can make a fresh start on Mars. Then open up a little casino. <laughs> Let you them dice roll real right in zero gravity. Well, I'm staying right here. Have we black folks learned nothing from getting on ships and not knowing where they're going? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? <laughs> now, before y'all go pat me on my back and everything, I, I want y'all to know I bruise easy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what you talking about, Kev? I'm talking about us behind the barbershop together as co-owners. Oh. Wow. That's nice. no bad. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the question is, how much do y'all have to invest? <laughs> Well, let me check my portfolio. Mm. I'm gonna go put it back and let it collect some more interest. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it, Candy. We can just take out a small business loan. And don't worry about all the closing fees, because I got that. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. So that way, just run through even... a little small credit check, and we in. We're we out. out. <laughs> I don't worry about it, I'll come up with another way. Hello, all, Sep Hi, 
baby. Mm, hello, my little Swiss miss. Mm. <laughs> Swiss miss. That's right. I'm his tall, high cup of cocoa. Uh -huh. And she's my Yoda lady boo. <laughs> Candy, is your girl? Baltimore needs me back. Matt, Baltimore needs you back like I need another hole in my head. Look, I don't have time to be trading insults with a used car salesman. When I can be doing business with a used car salesman. Dwayne, are you getting taller? A little. <laughs> Excuse us, Candy. Now, how would you like your pockets to get fat? Now, I'm looking to sell my Porsche. I heard you just a man to do it. Well, I should be able to get you a fair and reasonable market price for your vehicle. <laughs> man, where is he? Mr. Washington, I believe this is a fair offer on your establishment. Whoa, <laughs> that's, that's a very generous offer, Mr. Adams, but uh, we need a little more time. See, there's another interested party, and uh, he happens to be family. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, did I mention the buyer has a family-owned business? So they understand the importance of family. And so do the people down at the Lord Hair Mercy Beauty Salon. <laughs> What am I doing? I mean, he's already an hour late. See, this, this is the three-finger ring all over again. Listen, Flex, if family means that much to you, just give Kevin a little bit more time, please. I don't know Kevin that well. In fact, not at all. But, but, but I trust him. I don't think he's gonna let us down. But then again, I get hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, now I see what's going on. You're stalling. I tell you what, I am authorized to go up another 10%. I'm sorry, guys. He should have been here an hour ago. Mr. Adams, you have yourself a deal. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Good news, Flex. I got the... No! <laughs> Flex, please. Please don't tell me you just did what I think you did. Hey, Kev, I said noon, but I didn't hear from you. I was trying to get the money together, but I have it now. It's too late. Deal is signed. Flex, how could you do this to me? Hey, you knew what time you had to be here. It's not my fault. I can't stand here causing a rift between two brothers. So I'll just leave. Good day. Flex, I sold my Porsche to get the down payment. Why didn't you wait for me? No offense, Kev, but you don't have the best track record. Look, man, I sold the shop for five times what it's worth. Mom and Dad would never, ever have to worry about having enough money again. Thanks for your support. I gotta go for a walk now, cause I don't have a ride. <laughs> so what's going to happen now? I don't know. Hey, yo, I wonder if we can win the shot back in a high stakes poker game. Don't you mean Monopoly game? You don't own this place no more. <laughs> poker, poker, poker. <laughs> Daddy is around. Is it really on? Huh? Just turn me on. Okay. Oh, hey, Daddy, just doing a little dusting. Ah, uh, uh, still cold. That's my baby. <laughs> hey, Brianna, wanna go for a ride in my Porsche? You know the one I bought back from Dwayne for an extra $500? I had your car for 15 minutes feet. <laughs> Did you tell your uncle it's not my fault that he was too late and that's why I had to sell the shop? <laughs> oh, so you think you got it all together, don't you, Flex? Well, if you did, you wouldn't have had to sell the shop in the first place and you could have run it and kept it in the family. Selling the shop was not only a good family decision, but it was a good business decision. Oh, so it's when did Flex, the TV jock, become such a savvy businessman? Oh, I get it. You, you, you're jealous. You're jealous <laughs> because I'm a popular, handsome, local celebrity who's about to go national. And you just a portable barber who was out cutting Cisco the dragon's hair, but he turned into a lizard. <laughs> I am so glad to see that you two are talking to each other now. Oh, group hug. <laughs> OK, well, I'll just go to my room then. <laughs> Me? Jealous of you? What do I have to be jealous of? Your lame sign-off? I mean, am I the only one that knows Flat App is just the name of your pet frog? <laughs> and by the way, I'm the one that set him free. Flat App. Flat App. Flat App. Flat App! Leaving, huh? 
from going to the home with Grandma Barnes. It's Jell-O Cup Night. <laughs> now, Kev, I know you're upset about what happened, man, but, but come on. You didn't really want to run a barbershop. It's not you. Next thing you know, you'll be quitting and heading back out on the road. I don't know about all that. Oh, why do you say that? Well, I mean, no artist is going to want to hire me after they find out why Hypnotic fired me. Well, if you were fired? Actually, it was suggested at gunpoint that I take a leave of absence. <laughs> Kev, what did you do? Nothing. I just cut his ear. <laughs> you cut his ear? <laughs> was the tip of it. I mean, you don't even need that part. <laughs> I mean, his girl had a little thing for me, and, and I tried to brush it off, but, I mean, you know how things is with me and you. Yeah. Now, look at me. Imagine me three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Should've seen me three weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? This is my bad, it's your story. <laughs> anyway, while I was tightening Hypnotic up, his girlfriend, Shantae, brushed all that up against me suggestively. Things just went bad from there. Because of that, Hypnotic won't pay me my 20 G's he owed me for the last two months. 20 G's? Yeah, that's why I was counting on a barbershop. I know Hypnotic is dogging me to all the other rappers. Till that all dies down, I don't got nowhere to go. Sure you do, man. And you can always come home. And you got your 20 G's because the Barnes brothers we gonna get your money. Me and you? That's right. I mean, Hypnotic is a businessman. I'm sure once we lay things out for him, he'll see things our way. <sighs> These rappers ain't the Sugar Hill Gang flex. <laughs> I mean, Hypnotic and his boys is dangerous. Huh? I mean, they will beat you down. <laughs> they tough. <laughs> Maybe we should do some push-ups before we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's pray on it, too. Let's... <laughs> Well, if it ain't Jack the Clipper, what you want? Uh, hello, Mr. Hypnotic. How you doing, bruh? I'm, uh, Kevin's big brother. You might recognize me. I'm, uh, Baltimore's number one sportscaster. Flex, let me, let me handle this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we come to talk about the money you owe. Well, then, by all means, entree. <laughs> What's up, Shantae? <laughs> Keeping your brother's money. I know he told you what he did to me. Did he check my ear for what? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he said he just nicked the tip of your ear. I'm sure it's healed by now. And plus, me cutting your ear gave you your look. I mean, look, everybody rocking the band -aids. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. so, so if you just cut my brother a check, man, we'll get out of your hair. I am unamused by your facetious banner. Yeah, I said facetious, what? <laughs> Hypnotic, look, Kevin cutting your ear was an accident. And it's not his fault your girl was pushing up on him. She was doing what? You was pushing up on him, Shantae? Uh, baby, I'm sorry. I forgive you, baby. Go give me some groupers. <laughs> so you mess around with my girl, too, huh? Check this out, homie. We can handle this like gentlemen, or we can get straight gangster with it. I vote for gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Like the punk I thought you were. Uh, uh, hold up, you just called my little brother a punk? Oh, we can get gangster, but uh, uh, we, uh, we, we can go there, we can go there. <laughs> Look, I'm not a gangster. I'm a grown man. I don't need you, hypnotic. I don't need this job. All I need is two things my pride and a chain to make up for the money you owe me. What chain? That one, do just fine. Run! <laughs> I'm gonna miss this place, guys. Yeah. Hey, y'all, am I wrong to assume that if anything turns up missing flex, you use it as a tax write off? <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what you mean, what am I doing? I'm not stealing nothing if that's what you're implying. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a good idea. I don't think your new manager would like it. No, I wouldn't. Huh? <laughs> My big brother hooked it up with Mr. Adams this morning. The new owner agreed to keep me on as transitional manager for a year. And I get to pick my own staff. Y'all know some people? Oh! <laughs> now y'all get back to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
I said, where y'all going? Y'all got work to do. Oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, you got so much to learn. But don't worry, Candy gonna teach you. <laughs> <laughs> well, little brother, this is what you wanted. <sighs> yeah. Feels good to be home. What are you doing here? Hey, guys, is our mess up yet? Brianna, <laughs> nothing happened between Michelle and I. And nothing ever would. Something already did. Hey, girls, you guys want to go to a party with us in Tijuana? Our mess is going to a concert, so let's go. Don't you want to at least call him at work and tell him? I'll just leave Mr. Selfish a note. We took crowd surfing to another level. And the crowd took groping to another level. Hey. <laughs> no one left here wearing a bra. <laughs> huh. That doesn't seem like anyone's home. I wonder why they didn't leave a note. I mean, shoot. We did. Oh, I think they did too. See, it's on the back. You went to Tijuana. Whoa. I can't believe they actually went up to Mexico without me. Down. No, I'm glad. No, she can't give us a hard time for us hanging out. Yeah. So I guess it's just us, huh? So, what's on TV? <laughs> oh, man. Look at all the tattoos on that drummer. All rockers have tattoos. You don't have one? I don't have a lot of things rockers have, including the girl that puts out. Mm. Well, I can't help you there, but uh, I can draw you a tattoo. Maybe you want it. How about my favorite place? Whoa. <laughs> oh, not there. My stomach. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want? How about my head on a tiger's body as a jungle behind me bursts into flames? <laughs> How about just your initials? <laughs> yeah, that's cool, too. <laughs> but I want them bursting into flames. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. 
Uh oh. Here we go again. Oh, Ab. So I see we spent the night labeling body parts. No, Michelle drew me a tattoo. It's A B for Arnaz Ballard. I would have bet that's as far as he can get in the alphabet. You know what? Michelle, if you want them, you can have them. Well, aren't you going to go after her, Arnaz? Andale! No, I did nothing wrong. Uh, if she has a problem, she needs to act like an adult and talk about it. I'm tired of chasing after that girl. Gracias. <laughs> So, did you guys have a good time in TJ? <laughs> okay, Brianna. what I do this time? How sleeping half naked with another girl for a start? What about you going off to Tijuana without me? No, I can see you were all broken up about that. Oh, and to make yourself feel better, you took off your shirt. <laughs> you know I'm always taking off my shirt. Cotton blends make my skin itch. <laughs> so what? So what? Maybe you're right. So what? Why should I care if you don't? But you used to care. When you followed me out to California, you cared. Well, maybe I'm getting tired of following you and not getting anything out of it. Wait, so that's what this is all about? Us not having sex? What? Well, I'm glad we never did then. A big surprise! You know, Brianna, I am so tired of all of this. Well, if that's how you feel, maybe we should just end it. Maybe we should. Y yeah, maybe we should. Okay, let's end it. That's what you want to do? Seems to be what you want to do. Fine. I'll see you back at the house. Fine, I'll see you back at the house, too. He seems to be fine. He's channeling his pain into his music, which is working because it's the most painful thing I've ever heard. What's Brianna doing? She's studying. I'm just making a little snack for her. Food makes us feel better. Kind of like what porn does for you guys. I'm surprised she has an appetite after getting dumped by our nest. <laughs> it don't get much worse than that. Excuse me, Brianna dumped him. Where'd you get that idea? Because Brianna told us. Yeah, well, Arnaz told us he dumped her. Well, it's really none of our business who dumped who now, is it? That's between them. Yeah, we should stay out of that. Sarah, uh, do you need help taking that snack back to Brianna? <clears throat> Why, yes. Yes, Lisa, I do. <laughs> D-Mac, maybe we should ask Arnaz if he'd like a snack, too. Why don't you just go ask him? Just come on! <laughs> have to give these West Coast ladies a taste of what they've been missing. Arnaz, huh? next time you spend the night in the supply room, don't. Oh, and that hug I gave you when you were crying, what happens at the blog stays at the blog. Don't worry, man. Brianna's having a tough time, too. Was she crying a lot? Only when she ran out of stuff for yours to destroy. Oh, man. Listen. When girls get hurt, then they'll do anything to get rid of the pain. Say things like, I dumped him. Or maybe even sleep with a roommate to get even. But look, if that happens, remember, it's not the roommate's fault. 
Brianna's irrational behavior is a little something we like to call the scramble. It's what chicks do so they can feel better about themselves. Well, what about Arnez? You know, Arnez hurts too, you know. Did I dump this in there? You're not dumping anything. I dump things. Dang, man. Too bad I gotta go meet my sister at my parents, because this might be the first time I get to see Arnez act black. See, you're so dumped. Yeah, that's right. I'm dumping you. How's our little emotional roller coaster? She's had her ups and downs right now. <laughs> We're on a down. <laughs> you know what? I am actually better for this breakup. I am too young to be tied down. Yes. Sounds like she's doing better than me. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die alone! <laughs> Brianna, you got flowers. Flowers? Wait, how do you know they're for me? Well, I never get flowers, and Sarah slept here last night, so that leaves you. Okay. Oh, oh they are for me, and they're from Arnez. I'm sorry about last night. I hope we can still be friends. Love, Arnez. Oh, what a nice guy. Mm -hmm. P.S. I dumped you. <laughs> we should kill him in his sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. He is not getting away with this. If he wants to fight, I'm going to give him a fight. Oh, no. I can't believe we're fighting. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes Michelle. I cannot let her see me like this. <laughs> hey, guys. What did your parents think of you going to art school? Oh, not only did they kick us out the house, they turned the sprinklers on us. <laughs> and who was I kidding? They never liked the idea of me becoming a painter. Well, Dad did say you could paint the garage that one time. <laughs> and they'll never understand me. You know, you're the daughter they always wanted. That was fast. Yeah, well, not as fast as some people. Oh, hey, Michelle, I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> Bye. Brianna, wait. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Michelle. If you're looking for a piggyback ride, you just have to wait for our nest to get home. <laughs> Brianna, please. Come on, will you at least let me apologize? Go ahead. Nothing happened between me and our nest. We really just fell asleep. That didn't sound like an apology. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but I don't want you to do anything you're gonna regret. Oh, you mean like get some of your blood on my dress? <laughs> Look, Brianna, I can go ghetto too, but let's not go there, okay? Ooh, they're talking about going ghetto. Maybe we should go out there so nobody gets shanked. <laughs> Look, if we go out there, the only ones who gonna get shanked is us. All I'm saying is Arnez is a good guy and a perfect gentleman. Guys like that don't come around every day. At least not ones that like girls. So wait, now you're telling me about somebody that I've known for five years and you've only known for two days? Maybe you guys are having problems because you have such a short temper. I do not have a short temper. Uh, I'm normally very laid back. In some circles, they even call me chill. <laughs> Look, Brianna, I like you, okay? I'm just trying to help. And by the way, your dress is unzipped in the back. Well, thank you very much, but I don't need your help. Oh, except maybe to zip up my dress in the back. <laughs> I can just say you know, as mad as I am, this isn't about you. I know that. Oh, you just think you know everything, don't you? Not everything, Miss Chill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the zip. Damn! Dude! You're not dating her anymore. Uh, excuse me, everyone? Hi, I have an announcement to make. Yes, yesterday, 
I dumped my boyfriend. That's right, I dumped him. Thank you. Excuse me. Does that mean you're available to date other people? No. She's just scrambling right now. Oh, uh, you don't answer for me, X-Man. <laughs> yes, I am available to date other people. Well, I'm Greg. We met the other night. Oh, of course. Oh, it was so nice to see you again, Greg. <laughs> A lot has happened since we last talked. Let's catch up. She's still scrambling, right? Scrambling's over. This is something else. Yeah, uh, it's called moving on. All right, fine. She wants to pick up other guys? Hey, two can play at this game. Uh, that hug on the supply room was intended to comfort, not to lead you on, okay? Oh, hey. I was just leaving you a note. Where'd you go? Oh, I had to take care of something. You heading to the airport? Yeah, I think my work here is done. <laughs> not until you get this. Where did you get this? Did mom and dad change their minds? <laughs> no, our accountant did. He let me tap into my trust fund in exchange for some hip-hop dance lessons. Daryl, I don't know if I can let you do this. No, it's done. All right? You've always had the talent. And the fact that you were willing to make mom and dad even more disappointed in you <laughs> proved to me that you were ready to do something about it. Thank you, Daryl. D-Mac. <laughs> you know I'm going to pay you back for this. No, you won't. But that's cool. You leaving is all the payback I need. You're gonna miss me, boy. Okay? All right, I'm gonna call you when I get there, okay? All right. Easy. All right, bye. Hey. hey. I'm glad I caught you. Oh, you heading back to your parents? I'm going to the airport. But Malibu's only 30 miles away. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. Isn't this funny? I mean, we just met. But I guess that's what happens when you click with somebody. Yeah, I guess so, huh? And I was thinking, since I felt something between us, and I did feel something, right? Yeah, you did. Then you shouldn't leave, because we should do something together. And since I'm single, we should even do it naked. Arnez! What, topless? <laughs> I'm sorry, Arnez. I mean, as much as I like you, and I really do like you, I mean, just the timing sucks. It turns out I'm going to give Paris a shot. Well, that's great. Let's go celebrate. Well, we can't, I guess. Because it's not just about me going to Paris. I mean, it's going to take you some time to get over Brianna, and I just don't want to be your rebound girl. Wow. Dumped twice in 24 hours. Now I know how Lisa feels. I guess I'm not dumping you. I, I just, I can't be with you right now. Maybe someday. If we're meant to be, we'll be. Will we be topless? <laughs> well, thanks for walking me home. Hey, happy to do it. Good night. Good night. Brianna, wait. Look, I'm sorry about the flowers and the card and everything, for that matter. I was a jerk. Yeah, I wasn't much better. I don't know how this got out of hand. So, I'm sorry, too. So, uh, you going out with that guy? Arnez, we just broke up. It's a little too soon to be asking somebody out, don't you think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be so weird. We've been together for so long. We came out here together. We lived together. Yeah. You think maybe I should move out? No. I think we should at least try to work this out. I mean, we're still friends, right? Of course. We'll always be friends. Cool. So maybe this won't be weird. Nope. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay, good night.
two roach stompers. Now, the jump is called a herky, not a jerky. <laughs> I know I'm hard on you girls, but I want you to know it's all out of love. That is so sweet. Oh, we love you, too. Aww. Oh, precious, give the best hugs. <laughs> all that baby fat, you're just so soft and squishy. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. S curl. <laughs> That's why you gotta wear a hat all the time. <laughs> but I just hope he's over that bad habit of inappropriate touching. Yeah, that was kind of Flex in the way. How long has it been? Oh, forever, man. What's up, dog? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, you uh, haven't changed a bit. <laughs> you know, it's nice to see you two are still tight. Oh, yeah, we're tighter than handcuffs on a rapper's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> And I see you, uh, you still singing any chance you get. Oh, I just pressed another album. I've got a bunch in my trunk. Ooh. <laughs> Do you guys remember the group we had back in high school? Remember? Man, I put it together. Midnight Gold. Yeah. <laughs> we were so cool with our name shaved in our head. <laughs> you know, they're hosting an open mic contest here. How about a reunion? Get the old group together. Me do an amateurish open mic contest? You know, all the old groups we competed against in high school are gonna be here. The Red Lights. No. Orange Thunder. What? The Butterscotch Boys. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. <laughs> Those chumps? Mm -hmm. I say we do this. Midnight Gold is about to go a side of gold. Ah. <laughs> It's a bad sprain. Oh, you're out for the season. You're gonna have to pick a new team captain. But, but you need me to lead the team to victory. No, you need an ambulance to lead you to surgery. <laughs> now pick someone or I will. All right. Um, I pick... I pick Brianna. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold up for a minute there. I thought she said Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Wow, Brianna. <laughs> Tiffany, are you sure? Well, yeah. Yeah, Brianna's got excellent leadership abilities, and the girls love her. <laughs> She's just an adorable little moppet. Then I guess it's you, Brianna. The first freshman to make captain since me. <laughs> Tiffy, I am your best friend. According to the cheer code, I should be captain. I'm sorry, Angie, but this has nothing to do with cheerleading. This is just plain old player hating. Now, Brianna flirted with my boyfriend, and she hustled her way onto this team, remember? Now, by making her captain, she'll mess up, and then I'll be rid of Miss Bree Bree once and for all. Brianna, your team captain, I am so jealous. Girl, I can't believe it either, but trust me, I'm gonna be way nicer than that skinny, stuck-up tootie wannabe. <laughs> Oh, 
came to gig with the band. Brian told me Fool's Gold's getting back together. Now, it's midnight gold and Brianna's not here. <laughs> Flex, listen, I have a couple of ideas to help us win this contest. Oh, I'm already on it, dog. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. Let's do one of our old songs. Line up, line up, fellas. All right, all right. Uh, what are we singing? Our original cover to the classic, Tender Love. <laughs> all right. What about something more current? You know, the crowd tends to like songs they can sing along to. Yeah. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> It's almost four o'clock and half the squad is not here. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Nothing. See, Tiffany, your style is more like Bobby Knight. Loud, pushy, and punishable by law. <laughs> I'm more like Phil Jackson. Soft-spoken, smooth, and very well-dressed. <laughs> no, that's Tito Jackson. <laughs> for, huh, Freshie? You sing lead until he gets here. I don't know, fellas. <laughs> I'm kind of shy, but. you from singing lead. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, something came up at the station, but thanks for covering for me. But I uh, see so you guys are all warmed up, so let's really rehearse. Come on. Uh, uh, Flex, well, what do you think about Dwayne on lead vocals? Nah. <laughs> well, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we'd rather have Dwayne sing lead. Nah. <laughs> You know, now, you know, he doesn't speak for me. I'm very happy here in the background, just... <laughs> Come on, D, you're a great front man. You're a natural. Hey, hey, Howard Hewitt, I'm the leader of this group. <laughs> Come on now, Flex, Flex is right. Let him, let him sing lead. But you're better than him. Oh, ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> just, uh, just different. <laughs> See, I'm Michael, he's Jermaine. Sometimes I'm Janet, but never Latoya. <laughs> First of all, I'm the one who created this group, and I'm Michael. <laughs> you know, the real reason we broke up in high school is because we all thought Dwayne should sing lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say we take a vote. Who wants Dwayne to be our front man? Oh, that's three to two, Flex. Well, that's just three, because Dwayne and I quit. Right, D? Come on. Uh, yeah, Dwayne. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh... No. <laughs> what do you mean you say no? You're supposed to be my boy. You're supposed to always have my back. But instead of Dwayne being back there, oh, what's that? 
A big fat knife. <laughs> Man, you're supposed to be my boy and have my back. But my back's getting kind of cold because no one's ever back there. <laughs> you know, you guys work this out. Give us a call when you're ready to practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't believe you play me like this. Have you forgotten the neighborhood code? Flex is always right. Man, man, you were standing right there when they asked me to sing lead. I was just as surprised as you were. Yeah, but you had the opportunity to say no, but instead you said, he's Jermaine, I'm Michael, I'm sometimes Janet, but never Latoya. <laughs> man, what? Well, you just want me to fade into the background like I've been doing all my life. Fading for my father. Fading for my uncle. Girl, child ain't safe in a house of men. <laughs> Now, every time your feelings get hurt, you go quoting some movie line. Man, I've been two steps behind you all my life. That's because you always needed me in front of you, defending you. How many times did I keep you from getting your butt kicked? Man, I never asked you to. It just made sense. I mean, you had that mutant growth spurt at 13, and I stayed at a more sensible height. <laughs> the point is that you're just mad because I'm good at singing lead. And I'm not stepping down. Well, you know what? You can step by yourself. Because we're no longer friends, and you're fine as Brianna's godfather. <laughs> Until you do right by me, everything you even think about is going to crumble. Well, since we're quoting movie lines, Fredo, you're dead to me. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, take that. Shut up. What? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? You want some of this, Dwayne? How about this? What's up? Hi, Dwayne. Get up, Shorty. Huh? Dad, can I talk to you? They made me captain of the cheerleaders, and they're not respecting me. You want to know about respect, huh? <laughs> respect ain't earned. You got to go out there, and you got to take it. <laughs> Learn from the greats. I tell her to hunt. Uh, Genghis Khan, Tanya Harding. Uh, you, you know what? Forget about all my problems, okay? Because yours are obviously much bigger, all right? <laughs> Come have a seat. Tell Bree Bree all about it. Excuse me. Uh, that might have been Dwayne on the phone. He left five messages. I told you never to speak that name in this house. <laughs> I'm surprised you would let something as minor as singing lead for some old, tired group come between you and he whose name shall not be spoken. <laughs> You're being petty. I am not. You know what, father? <laughs> Once in the fourth grade, my friend Dolly was a seat wetter. And once she sat in my seat and then didn't tell anybody. And then I sat in the same seat, and everybody thought it was me. And they all started calling me Brianna, Piana. <laughs> the point is, Dwayne wouldn't pee on your seat. You know. I see someone wasn't in the sixth grade with Dwayne. You know. <laughs> Gee, looks like you're the captain of a big old nothing. <laughs> You know what? You just still mad at me because your boyfriend likes me. Like I said before, I can't turn all this off, okay? Now watch me work. Uh, excuse me. You all are 20 minutes late. That's five demerits. Now drop and give me 10. Oh, I know the freshie isn't telling me to do something. Do it before I poke out your eyes and roll them like dice! <laughs> You're tougher than I thought. Yeah, well, I decided I need to be more like you. Yes, yes, like a professional. <laughs> no, no, like a witch. What here, man? man? I checked around. I called two priests, a nun, and a street preacher. Only God can fire me as Brianna's godfather. <laughs> you here to apologize. Just hurry up. Look, man, I've been trying to talk to you for days. You don't take my calls. You don't return my emails. You're worse than half the women I try to go out with. <laughs> Yeah, and you better start showing up at my job, too. And what is with that shirt? Man. Oh, oh. Look, man, since you're already here, why don't you just say what you got to say, man? Look, we've been friends for years. And in all that time, it's always been Flex and Dwayne, never Dwayne and Flex. 
It's cold here in your shadow. I just want my chance to shine. Then what movie is that from? It's a loose interpretation from Beaches, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is this. I've been your friend for as long as I can remember. And I sure hope our friendship isn't based on you always being in the spotlight and me always drifting somewhere in the background. That's from Yentl. <laughs> winner tonight, there are only two awards that can be handed out. Second place, and the spot in the Maryland State Championship goes to McKinley High! <laughs> this is amazing! I worked really, really hard for this. They have to. You don't deserve it. Yes, we do. It was a team effort. My team, my trophy. Give me the trophy. <laughs> Flex isn't coming. Well, just go out there and sing your heart out, man. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for me. Night, go! <laughs> man, what you doing, girl? You got it, man. Sing lead. I got your back. smile. I really do. <laughs> the 
Ah, spaghetti night. That's right. I just want to make my baby happy. Oh, that's sweet, Flex. <laughs> Makes me feel a little uncomfortable, but thanks. <laughs> it's father daughter night, not father dummy night. <laughs> what you want anyway? For it to be father dummy night. <laughs> Actually, man, I just came by to say that making me take on Arnez as a roommate was a, it was a good idea. I like being a mentor to the young boy. Oh, cool. Where's Arnez now? He's changing the oil in my car. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's later. Right now, he's, uh, oh, he's leveling the lifts in my shoes. <laughs> Haven't you noticed I've been walking in circles lately? Man, well, circle your butt back on over there and finish watching him, man. I don't want him kissing my daughter again. I don't want him touching her. I don't even want him looking at her again. This isn't the calm, enlightened zen daddy you told Brianna you were going to be. Yeah, well, that was zen. This is now. <laughs> Before I saw her tongue wrestling Arnez on the roof. Now I got no choice. See, I gotta be cool daddy to her face and sneaky daddy behind her back. That's it. A double agent. Double daddy. What's <laughs> with you, Flex? Every day it's a new daddy. It's like living with my mama all over again. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think of them What a true love we are Maybe you can see more Maybe one on one One on one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Now we have a thing Maybe one on one Now we have a thing Maybe one on one Maybe one on one You want to tell your dad that you and Arnez are dating? Yes. Ever since I got back from New York, my dad and I agreed to be honest with each other, and this is the first step. Yeah, and you're here because I feel safer with as many witnesses as possible. <laughs> no, I'm here because movies cost money and this drama is free, okay? <laughs> hey, Brianna, I sent you out for chips and you brought home the dips. <laughs> Daddy? Arnez and I have something to say. He's on you, boo. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm good, y'all can go. <clears throat> well, Mr. Washington? Well, that would be a good place to hide a body. <laughs> Brianna and I feel very strongly about being open. God, she looks so good right now. She better be worth all this. <laughs> oh, really? A really, really deep well. Yes, sir. We want to make sure that you are all right with us dating. Dating who? <laughs> uh, 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 dating whom would be the correct usage. What a dork. What a dork. What a dork. <laughs> it's hard being the smartest one in the room. <laughs> Daddy, Arnez and I want to make sure you're okay with us dating each other. Why well, wouldn't I be okay with you two dating? Because you're an overprotective... Ill-tempered lunatic. <laughs> Maybe the old Flex was an overprotective, ill-tempered lunatic. But the new Flex has... Flex balls! Yes! The new Flex is cool. Yeah, I'm cool with y'all, Dave. I appreciate you being open with me. <laughs> if only this was his face! <laughs> okay, well, that was good. Bye. Be a man. Don't run till you get to the hallway. Oh, thanks, Daddy. I think this whole being open and honest thing is really gonna work out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go across the hall to be with my man. <laughs> Did you lick your fingers and stick them back in the bag? Well, I didn't want to just stick them back in dirty. <laughs> Dwayne, did you see that underhanded move? I mean, what teenagers are honest with their parents? They think I'm gonna ease up on them. Fools. They're gonna regret the day that they were ever honest with me. Ain't that right, Dwayne? Nobody knows. <laughs> hey, don't you see? I mean, they're just like her mother and me. Two teenagers driven by lust. I mean, we spent our prime night in the maternity ward. The pediatrician signed my yearbook. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen to them. Well, it's your own fault for having such a hot daughter. What'd you say? <laughs> Is he reading my thoughts? <laughs> Hey, man, you seen Brianna and Arnez? No. Weren't you following them in your car? Yeah, I was, until I accidentally hit a bike messenger. Was he hurt? No, but he sure took his time getting up. 
Anyway, man, I lost them. They could be anywhere doing anything. Her mother and I, we did everything, and we did it everywhere. All right, Flex, you need what I got. What, hands like a hobbit? <laughs> no, I'm talking about a locator chip. I put one in Candy's car. Right now, I am watching her every move as we speak. Man, that is so sneaky, so underhanded, so deceitful. Can I get one? <laughs> I don't know, Flex. I mean, I only have a few left over from Big Sal's, and I already got a couple guys who are going to pay me good money for them. Uh, come on, Dwayne. This is Flex, your childhood friend, your best friend. <laughs> and if you don't hook me up with one, the last friend to see you alive. <laughs> All right, you, you talk me into it. <laughs> uh, and since you're my boy, I'm going to hook you up with a good price. My man. Yeah. $1,200. What? $1,200? I thought you said you were going to give me a good price. Man, that is a good price. For me. <laughs> and remember, I am unemployed and housing your daughter's future baby's daddy. Man, I'll give you 20 bucks. Sold. <laughs> Can I have it now? Dwayne, I live across the hall. You don't want to take it that long. Like, look. <laughs> Fine. All right, look. Here's $10 in... And a chiclet. Oh. <laughs> now, show me how this thing works. All right. After I install it, which is an additional $1,180. Fine. We'll talk money later. <laughs> oh, look, look, check it out. See, with this GPS software, you can track her anywhere in the country. For instance, right now, Candy's signal is slowing down and stopping at 5771 Ryan Street. Huh. What losers are you going to see now? <laughs> Wayne, mm -hmm. that's this building. Oh, my God! I'm the loser. Flex, no, you gotta go now. Come on, you gotta go. Hey, what about my locator chip, man? You gotta install it for man, me. Man, no time. I gotta get gussied up. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> come on, man. Like, come, Ali, come on, man. <laughs> what? Candy, is... did you gussy up? <laughs> Baby, I stay gussy. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. Come on in. Well, I'm here because I got your letter. All ten of them. Huh. I wonder what happened to the rest. <laughs> you forgive me? No. A lie is still a lie, no matter what the reason. I can't be with a man I don't trust unless he's really, really good looking. <laughs> Baby, I was just so worried that you wouldn't want to be with me if I didn't have a job. I couldn't provide for you like a man. First of all, I can provide for myself. And second, where do you get off thinking I was with you because you had a paycheck? Like I'm some kind of gold digger. But baby, I never said that you were a gold digger. Hmm. Although that's what I heard. What? <laughs> then why would I have been dating you? Well, no one said you were good at it. <laughs> baby, please take me back. Oh, the whining, the crying, the begging. I mean, I admit, I do miss our foreplay. The way you used to make that buzzing sound like a bumblebee. <laughs> hmm, but I gotta move. Oh, Candy, please, baby. Look, I promise, I will never lie again. Dwayne, how do I know you mean it? But look. I promise. If I ever do get another job, I will tell you the minute I get fired. Well, it'll mean us starting all over again. Ah, uh, whatever, my sweetness. Right. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Isn't this great? Yeah, well, I have been practicing on my pillow. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm so glad we told your dad. I, mean, I just feel so free. It's great not having to sneak around and look over our shoulders anymore. Well, my dad trusts me now. He finally realizes that I'm not a little girl anymore. Yeah, I realized that a long time ago. <laughs> what kind of an idiot pulls into the drive-in with his high beams on? Hey, let the light shine on our love. We don't need to hide from anyone. Come on, let's give him a show. <laughs> Brianna? Daddy? Girl, I thought I recognized your car. <laughs> what a quinky <quickie> thing. <laughs>you know, I, I'm on a date, too. Another kawinky thing. <laughs> Yo, this is so bananas. <laughs> I'm here with my girl, Java. Come on, who brings a date to see Finding Nemo Part 2? <laughs> Except for you and me. Who wouldn't want to see a movie about a father who'd navigate treacherous waters and battle those great half-white sharks to save his only child? Uh, 
Excuse me, my job is percolating. Take your time. How did he know we were here? I don't know, but I think you better get your hand off my thigh. I'm sorry, baby. Can you believe I ran into my daughter at a drive-in? I mean, what are the chances of that? I would think very unlikely since we were going to dinner at Cafe Pierre. Come on, baby. Look, look I know it's just a drive-in, but you make me feel so young. Don't you want to act like we were 18 again and hop in the back seat? Aw, oh, Flex, I can't be mad at you. You're fun and you're on TV. Flat top. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it's flat out, but it, that's, that's okay, baby. It, it's going to back. <laughs> Wasn't this backseat thing a good idea, Java? I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, I'm so sorry about the clutter back there. I didn't know my dad and I were going on a double date, <gasps> ever. <laughs> Me either, and that's what I get for dating a B-list celebrity. Oh, please, like, somebody's gonna believe you America's Next Top Model. <laughs> Daddy, don't you want to take Java back to your car so you two can have a date like normal people? What's not normal about this? I mean, it's just a father and a daughter out on a date with other people in a car. I mean, we're just going with the flow. Who knows where the rest of the night might take us? I can tell you where it's not taking us. And I am a top model. Oh. Ar Arnez, are you hungry? No, I ate earlier. Ow. I mean, I, I can eat. Hey, we're gonna go get some snacks. You two want something? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to get no snacks. I got you. I got you. I stopped at the 99 cent store. Yeah. <laughs> I picked up some licorice. Well, well, it says liquor Richie, but it tastes the same for half the price. What's that beeping noise? With any luck, a truck is backing over us. <laughs> no, I hear it too. Beep, beep, beep. No, that's me. Yeah, I'm working on this new thing for the show. You know, I can't live off flat app forever. Beep, beep. Doot, doot. <laughs> well, I gotta work out the kinks. Anyway, turn up the sound. The movie's getting ready to start. Oh, what'd you say, Java? You can't see over Arnaz's head, and, and you want to switch seats with him. Oh, no, Arnaz wouldn't have a problem with that. <laughs> Arnett, come on, sit back here with me. <laughs> oh, hello, Flex. Hey, I'm making breakfast for candy, and I need to borrow a few things. What do you need to borrow? Breakfast. <laughs> Take what you want, man. I owe you. You know, this tracking device works like a charm. Of course, Brianna's mad at me for crashing her date, and uh, I'm sure I'll be living with you when I'm old and sick, but... Uh... <laughs> My baby girl's not pregnant. I feel proud. <laughs> I don't know why you're so worried about her, man. I mean, you raised your daughter better than that. And I'm sure she has a good excuse for why she's at the Green Door Motel. <laughs> oh, my God. The Green Door Motel? Dwayne, Nicole and I used to go there. That's where Brianna was conceived. And now she's going to take our nest there? Don't you see, man? It's the circle of life. <laughs> I got to find my baby before she makes a baby. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 man, you gotta come with me. I need somebody to hold Arnaz while I beat him down. <laughs> well, here's Brianna's car. It gotta be in one of these rooms. Ma Flex, man, this isn't right. We're acting like the Vice Squad. Dwayne, as God is my witness, Brianna's not gonna make the same mistake I did. Now get to Vice and listen at one of these doors and see if you hear him. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Just the sound of a bit squeaking and somebody getting spanked. <laughs> Get the freak off! I, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him, Dwayne. I'm gonna kill him dead. Get, kick this door down. Man, she's not my daughter. Hey, your shoe's untied. Hey, you dislocated my shoulder. It mustn't always be about you. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of here right now. Right now. Get out of here. Flex. Lelani? worse than I thought. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is Spirit in there too? My daughter? Well, if she were, what would be the point of me and Cooper being here? Cooper's in there? Of course he is. 
Although for the next hour, he's the last samurai, and I'm his little geisha girl. <laughs> well, the tea's getting cold, so sayonara. Hey, what kind of sick wasabi madness is going on around here? Now, that's Brianna's car. Tell her to get out here right now. You think Brianna's here? What kind of world do you live in, man? <laughs> she was nice enough to lend her car to us because she knew our van had been in the shop all week. Well, all year. <laughs> Once again, you cannot seem to keep track of your own daughter. Uh, oh, well, just go on back in the hidden dragon. <laughs> Gladly. Cooper, you can turn the camera back on, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Suki, Suki, to you too. I got to go. Yeah, my mom said your father's face was like crazed. Yeah, serves him right for putting that locator in my car and trying to spy on me. Ooh, I can't wait until I bust him out. <laughs> Wait, so your parents go to that motel every week? Yeah, where else are they gonna watch HBO? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, that's him. Look busy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? This all I know. My mama made me go to circus camp one summer. <laughs> Finally, you found something to do that goes with your clothes. <laughs> hey, go on home, sweetie. Hey. Hey, baby. Have a seat, Daddy, oh. so we can spend a little father-daughter quality time together. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I love father-daughter quality time. Yeah, so do I. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives us a chance to share our days. Yeah. You go first. Okay. So, um, you want to share with me how you ran into Spirit's mom today? <laughs> What's the matter, Daddy? Mm. Are you choking on your lines? <laughs> that beeping we heard at the drive-in was from that locator chip you put in my car. <laughs> Next time you want to violate my civil rights, I suggest you use new batteries. <laughs> that thing takes batteries? That beeping, Dwayne. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you set me up. How could you do that? How could I? How could you be so sneaky, so deceitful, so wrong? I'm a parent. It's my civil right. But you were the one trying to throw me off by being honest. We're dating. We just wanted to be honest with you. Do me a favor. Don't ever be honest with me again. Well, I know I just say that. Daddy, why can't you just trust me? I mean, I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm almost 18 years old. Ah, yes, 18. The evil age. <laughs> the age of deceit. It's when the dumb gene kicks in. <laughs> I know, that's how I ended up with you. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Sweetie, I love you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, but it was really hard for me. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to end up doing something that you're not ready for. Daddy, that's all I've been hearing from you and Mom since I got into high school. I get it. I'm not going to end up like you two. Can't you just trust the girl that you raised? Just please give me a chance to be me. Could you be you without Arnez? Daddy. <laughs> All right, I just had to give it a shot, throw it out there. All right, I promise. No more spying. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that means I should take the wiretap off her phone. <laughs> so much fun, Dwayne. And to think, the only reason why I came by the other day was to tell you to stop sending me those annoying letters. Yeah, I put a lot of time into writing those letters. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know how hard it is to find words that rhyme with please, knees, squeeze, uh, stop. disease? Baby, stop. <laughs> I read the letters. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm looking forward to our fresh start. Uh, as am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And every relationship begins with a little mystery. Oh. <laughs> little surprise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I put a locating device in your car because I was jealous and wanted to keep tabs on you. Surprise! <laughs> You've been following me? No, but keeping an eye on you for safety reasons. Oh, and when you go to the drugstore, don't park at Blockbuster, they always tell. <laughs> you disturbed little man. <laughs> You just don't get it, do you? I'll never trust you again. Goodbye, Dwayne. What? 
candy. No, candy. Baby, candy. Man, I can't believe I lost her again. Dear Candy, I'm down on my knees. Come back to me, please, or else I'll sneeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming back. <laughs> hey, guys, wait until you see the new promo for the Flex Files. It is hot. Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Ranya Roshenko. She's new to this country. I may be new to this country, but I'm not new to sports. Since when do we shoot Croatian girls going wild? Shh. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls like Rania. Watch me work it every week on the Flex Files. <laughs> That girl was my idea. <laughs> well, did I tell you, hot? What happened to the promo that we shot? You know, the one with me in it? Well, Matt, actually, I loved it. But couldn't we shorten up the beginning just a little bit? <laughs> Can you believe this, Ace? Back me up here, man. I only have one note. She should be wearing clear heels. <laughs> See, Plex, you're the only one who doesn't like it. All right, everybody, places, please. Don't be angry, Flex. We are just trying to do what is best for my show. My show, The Flex Files. For now. <laughs> Two. Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. Delane, I need you to help me choose my class ring. Should I go with subtle and understated or, uh-oh, Kobe, what you do now? See, I might not be the guy to ask. My class ring has two years on it, 86 and 87. That's it, Ace. I know it's a good job, but I'm quitting. You ain't getting no ring. If you quit, Flex, what would you do? And more importantly, what would I do? And first they cut me out of my own promo, next they'll be cutting me out of my show. Man, I can't stand by and let that happen. I gotta do something. I gotta do it now. Well, well, wait, Daddy, before you do something crazy, can I get $400 for my class ring? I already gave you money for your ring. But I lost it. At the shoe store. <laughs> Brianna, I'm not made out of money. I suggest you tie those shoes around your finger and tell everybody you graduated from Gucci High. <laughs> Expensive. And you're the one who said you wanted me to graduate from high school. Well, it costs. Granny, you keep telling me you're an adult, so get a job. Yeah, I kind of already did the job thing, and it's not for me. Uh -huh. uh, Dwayne, get her a job down at your place. What? I can't work at a garage. The only thing I know about cars is that they need gas. Oh, which reminds me, I need some gas money, too. <laughs> Uh, Brianna, look, you're gonna have to make your own money. I don't know how, but just as long as it doesn't involve fishnet stockings, a pole, and a wad of singles. You know what? This would have been a lot easier if you would have just left your wallet laying around. Oh, man, what am I gonna do about my show? As long as Ronnie's got control of Matt, she's got control of my show. And I'm done. I can't compete with that. Yeah, only thing that can compete with a hot chick is an even hotter chick. <laughs> now, maybe if you grow your hair out, you know, shave your legs, put a little rouge on your cheeks. You might have a shot. That's it. Then again, I'm not sure Matt's into ugly transvestites. That's true, Flex. You're a four at best. I mean, not like I ever pictured it, you know. No, you idiot. I'm gonna get another girl for Matt, get Rania out of the picture, and get my show back. And Ace, I'm at least at eight. I got legs for days. This is great, Brianna. What better place to get a job than a restaurant where the waitresses recite famous movie lines? Yeah, you don't need us here to hold your hand. This job's perfect for you. 
Okay, all right, I confess, I don't need you. I needed a ride because I ran out of gas. <laughs> all right, ladies, before we start, I've got great news. My divorce is final. <laughs> you know, I am the one doing the hiring. <laughs> ah, okay. But seriously, corporate has decided to use one of our waitresses for a national commercial. So if you get the job, you might also become a star. <sighs> Okay, now I need your support. This is more than just making a few dollars. This can launch my acting career. Okay, first up, uh, Lexus Mercedes Beamer. <laughs> get in gear, girl. <laughs> you get it? Gear, car names. It's a joke, people. All of my poor life, I had to fight, okay? And little Sophia wasn't even safe in a house full of men folk. But I had not never thought that as a grown woman, I would have to fight in my own house. Wow, she is really horrible. I mean, really, really, really horrible. Brilliant. You're hired. They liked her? Ooh, quick on this, they may be looking for singers. They might as well just hand me this commercial right now. Uh, Brianna Barnes. Oh, girl. Hi, I'm Brianna Barnes. Yeah, I know. That was me that just read your name. Oh, okay. All right, then. Um, here I go. Oh, my God. Thank poor... you. We'll call you. Okay, thanks. What happened? I don't know. He wouldn't even let me finish. I can't believe he would hire all those women over me. What do they have that I don't have? You <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, not that I'm looking, but uh, I think it starts with big and ends with oobies. <laughs> of our star, please. <laughs> you know, I saw that. It's gonna let you shine on TV. <laughs> you got to do something. Did you talk to Matt yet? I haven't had a chance yet. Ronnie's been all over him like a virus, giving him a case of the Croatian cooties. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got the cure. Uh, hey, Matt, a minute. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, me and the fella's gonna hang out tonight, and we need a white guy and a crew just in case the car breaks down and we gotta catch a cab. So you wanna roll? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been through this before. You just want me to pay for the beer, don't you? <laughs> no, we just thought it would be cool to have you as part of our crew. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I've never been part of a crew. <laughs> Although I was coxswain in college for the Harvard rowing team. Oh. Of course, that was just because I owned a megaphone. <laughs> Whatever. So are you in? I don't know. I'm going to have to check with Ron. Oh. You know what? I guess you're not the player that I thought you were. And the fellow's going to be real disappointed. We were looking for a rich white coxswain. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. You know what? Maybe you're right. I suppose one night rolling with the brothers is in order. Uh, <laughs> I mean, after all, the mat man has to get out of his 10,000 square foot cave now and then. Uh -huh. And he doesn't need to ask permission because he is king. What? Of his castle. Yeah. <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing back there? The girl formerly known as Brianna does not live here anymore. You have to call for Pammy Lee. <laughs> Wow! Come over here, girl, give me a hug. Brownie, you went into that bedroom a respectable young woman and you came out a flotation device. Girl, you saw what was happening at that restaurant? They don't want girls like me, they want girls like Pammy. That's why I set up an audition for her and her friends. I bought these balls at a toy store. But look, if I adjust them just right, add in a go. <laughs> I can't believe you're falling into this I'm not good enough trap. Love thy body, love thyself. That's easy for you to say. You've been wearing a bra since the second grade. 
Look, things like this don't happen here in Baltimore. I mean, I could be in a national commercial. I could be like the next Can You Hear Me Now guy. <laughs> this is what actresses do to get work. I didn't make the rules. Well, I think you're overreacting, Brianna, and fake boobs are not going to get you that job. Hi, I'm... Hired. <laughs> Pammy, you start tonight. Oh! <laughs> Tagaria could never outfight Santino. He's a pimp. But I didn't know until yesterday that it was Barzini all along. <laughs> hey, Pam, I saw you doing your thing, and you are a really good actress. I mean, you remember the words and everything. <laughs> Thank you, but I don't think that table noticed my acting ability. I know what you mean. Okay, I've been tripping over my lines all night, and I'm, like, racking in the tips. I must be, like, a really good actress or something. Pammy, I've been paying attention, and you've got God-given talent. You, really? You think I'm good? As a matter of fact, I think you've got the inside track for the commercial. Oh. <laughs> Dwayne? Thanks again for the great play gear. It's not often I can wear it right off the rack. <laughs> no problem. Just try not to sweat in it. I'm planning on wearing it tomorrow. Flex, this is the most fun I've had in 10 years. Uh, getting pulled over was great. I mean, profiling is no joke. Yeah, yeah, good, good cover saying you just signed us to a record deal. That was, that was smooth. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to dinner and a movie. It's table for four with uh, two booster seats. <laughs> Right this way. Yeah, we might not need to hit the club. There's plenty of hot women here. Hot women is going to help me get my show back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Menu looks good. Oh, check it out. Ta ta tots. <laughs> What's with the pigeon thing? Well, it's just a little something us hip-hop boys do these days. <laughs> now, see, see, Matt, what we players do once we're at the watering hole is we stake out our prey. Now, which one of these lost little lambs would you like to cull from the herd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find it easier to pounce on the sick and the weak. Hey, guys. Ooh. All right, listen, I'm supposed to come over here and recite movie lines, but I don't remember any, so can y'all just laugh? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, no one laughs louder than my well-paid television producer friend here. Television producer? You don't say. <laughs> that's, that's just something that we hip-hop boys do these days. Uh, well, you know what? I like you. I'm going to bring you guys all back around to drinks and you my phone number. Oh, oh and bring some ta 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 Life as a player ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Ron, you who? <laughs> Word. <laughs> and when it's all over, if I have to beg, borrow, or steal, I'll never be hungry again. Ooh, ooh, I I'll be right back with you, Bill. <laughs> Pammy. Oh. Listen, Mandy's falling behind. I need you to take these ta-ta-tas to table three and table six. Oh, and put your shoulders back. Good. <laughs> that is amazing. I never would have thought you were a Trekkie. We're everywhere, baby. Live long and party. What's up? <laughs> All right, here you are, fellas. Yes, hot. <laughs> Brianna? Hey, Daddy. What do you think you're doing? Well, you, you told me to get a job. Look, no fishnets. Ain't nobody looking at your legs. And what happened? Did you get bit by a mosquito on steroids? Ace, I got to deal with this. You make sure everybody has a good time. You, you coming with me. But, Daddy, I need to no, work. No, you get your breast all out like you little Kim. What's wrong with you? Brianna, you can tell me a million times why you did it, but I can't understand why you'd want to alter yourself. Because every girl that got hired had big breasts. Oh, don't use that word. <laughs> Okay, big boobs. Oh, okay, big breast it is. 
Exactly, Daddy. That's my point. That's why I didn't get hired the first time. And aren't you being a little hypocritical? I don't think your buddies were there for the acting. Uh, well, see, you and Matt wanted to... Uh, never mind, I am grown. I just don't get it. First you tell me to get a job, and then you yell at me when I get one? Yeah, but I thought you were gonna get a job where the french fries were supersized, not your chest. Daddy, this job gives me a chance to act. And I might get to be in a commercial because of it. Selling what? D baby, I thought you wanted to be seen as a serious actress. Even successful actresses supersize sometimes. Look at Julia Roberts in that Aaron Bronchitis movie. <laughs> okay, Julia Roberts didn't win an Oscar for Best Actress because of her cleavage. She won because of her talent. But, Daddy, it's not just movie stars. Half the girls in my school got implants as birthday gifts. You get more when you have more. Baby, you are a beautiful girl. You have to think I'm beautiful. You're my dad. But I don't look like the girls in the magazines. No one looks like the girls in the magazines. The girls in the magazines don't even look like the girls in the magazines. Rihanna, <laughs> sweetie, look, you're my baby girl. I made you, and I'm proud of the way you turned out. And I want you to be proud, too. I am, Daddy. But I can't help it if this is what gets girls hired. All right, Rihanna, you know what? I know you don't like when I, when I tell you what to do, but you're going to get rid of them breasts. <laughs> Do you want to be remembered for your talent or your ta-ta-tots? What are these hangers doing in your closet when I told you I don't want them in here ever? I work and I work until I'm about to fall. And what do I get? An ungrateful daughter who doesn't care about the beautiful things that I give her or about me. No more wire hangers. <laughs> I heard the whole thing, kiddo, and you were marvelous. I'm going to tell the boys upstairs that I want you for the commercial. What do you say? What do you say? What in the name of Boys Don't Cry happened to you? This is the real me. Do you still want me for your commercial? Uh, well, sweetie, I don't really well, think Well, you know what? You can hold your tongue, you swine. Because I quit. And I will have nothing to do with a place that objectifies women and makes a mockery of the noble profession that I love. Good day, sir. But I think you... I said good day. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't a scene. That was real life. No, I'm serious. All right, fine. Keep clapping. I'm just too good. Matt Player, there you are. <laughs> so how did it go last night? Uh, you and that waitress Mandy hook up? You know, I haven't seen a woman that crazy for a man since, well, uh, my last date. <laughs> she was loving the mat, man. Uh, so uh, when are you two going out? Never. <laughs> she said the first Star Trek movie was better than The Wrath of Khan. She's dead to me. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we'll just get out and unleash the mat man again. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks, Flex. Listen, taking me to that restaurant last night, meeting all those hot chicks mm -hmm. and your daughter <laughs> made me realize all women are hiding something. With Rania, at least I know what I have. Matt, but do you want to spend your life being her whipping boy? God, I hope so. <laughs> Look, if you're feeling Rania, who am I to try to step in and, and, and save you? But I just can't sit there and let her steal my show. Like, I know she's good for the ratings, but I am the heart and soul of the Flex Files. Without me, there is no flat app. Flex, I hear you loud and clear. I'm a businessman, and I'm going to do what is best for this show. I mean, after all, after last night, you and me are boys. We're homies. I got your back. Let's what is this phone number I found in your jacket? Uh, the, um... Uh, uh, Matt, it, it, isn't that the number for the jeweler? Uh, you know, the one that's uh, making the diamond pendant. Uh, bracelet? Uh, necklace? Oh, I love you so much! <laughs>
Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Ranya Roshenko. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls. Like me, Flex Washington of the Flex Files. Fly that. Matt, you ruined my promo. Yeah, you didn't take my note about the clear heels. I'm sorry, sweetie, and big guy. But I had to do what was best for the show. Matt, are you defying me? Yeah, yeah, that's right. How do you like that? I don't like it. I love it. I haven't been this hot since my summer in Chernobyl. Well, Flex, you can't say you didn't try. What are you talking about, man? I got my promo back. I won. <laughs> right, right. And I got the clear heels. Anybody call? Anybody call? Daddy! Paella again? Paella! That's the fifth time you've made that this week. I can't help it. It was Natalie's favorite dish. And she was my favorite dish. <laughs> Daddy, will you just get over her? It's been two weeks. She gone. Daddy, she gone. Stop acting so desperate. It's embarrassing. Ooh, did Joshua Arnaz call? I thought you were just friends with salt and pepper. They gone, baby. They gone. Daddy, where's the kitchen table? Baby, I'm purging all furniture that reminds me of Natalie. Long, shapely legs. Nice, soft seats. Made in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Oh, he hung up. No, she hung up. You answered the phone all breathy. She probably thought I had another woman over here. Or Prince. <laughs> Natalie loved Prince. Daddy, what's happening to us? You're getting all weepy over androgynous rock stars. And I went out and bought these. They're night vision binoculars. So I can see Josh and Arnaz at night from afar. You know what's happening here? The popular ain't popping. The in crowd's on the outs. See, we used to being put on a pedestal, being adored. Okay, Daddy, you may have been adored, but I was worshipped. Yeah, and now it's just us. But you know what? You don't need a boyfriend, and I don't need a girlfriend to be happy. I'm done with women. Ain't nothing but aggravation. Me too. I'm done with boys. Then it's a pack. Just you and me. No clutter. Agreed? Agreed. Hit it right there. Hi. I'm Yvette, and this is my son, Michael. I'm house-sitting for my sister in 3B, and I locked us out. So I was oh, wondering, is there any... Oh, don't you come knocking on my door with your sob story. This is how it all starts. Look at you. Your hair's all silky smooth. Mm -hmm. With your fine, handsome, looking like Usher's son. Yeah, we're on to you, and we don't play that. Mm -mm. My daughter and I have each other, and that's plenty. Yeah, that's right, Daddy. Break out. <laughs> I think this is gonna go very well. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then, what I truly will you do? Maybe one, two, three, 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 one, two, Check this out. I'm telling you, man, swearing off women has made me a new man. I never felt so free, y'all. Mm, I've learned from my mistakes, y'all. And mistake by name is woman. Mm. That's heavy. That's heavy. But what are you going to do when you get that, you know, the way I'm tickled? I know you and Ace are new around here, but I don't get that the way I'm tickled. I'm not a slave to my desires. Yo, I like being alone. You know what I'm saying? I can watch sports anytime I want. Yo, I got ESPN on at the house right now. I ain't even there. <laughs> Although my ankle bracelet says I'm there, but you know. How dare you? I'll find a woman completes me. When I can find one, I'm completely surprised.
Hello? Hey, Bri Bri. No, 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 baby, no, no, no. You don't need to talk to Josh and Arnez. Okay, j l listen to me, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. You and me, we don't need three. You and me, we don't need three. <laughs> Very good. All right, baby. All right, I'll be home soon. Stay strong. Ah, my poor little codependent daughter. The girls be lost without me. Oh, Flex, I didn't know Brianna was codependent. She gotta wear like special shoes for that. <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? A uh, manicure is two hours late and her CNI midget. <laughs> Hasty hookups, what is this? It's a singles event. Where have you been, Flex? It's the new thing. You go around the room talking to different women for three minutes at a time. Look, it's an assignment for my business class. Now, according to my market research, single people are most likely to part with two things, cash and dignity. I only want your cash. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. See, that's what I love about my candy. <laughs> She's ambitious, driven, and doesn't mind a man who travels with a step stool. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, Flex, how's Natalie? Oh, oh. oh. hey, Dwayne, how's your daddy? <laughs> Look, I, I wish you luck, Candy, but Brown and I made a pact. Then unpack. I need to pass this class. I can't. Brown and I swearing off dating. No more Natalie, no more Josh and Arnez, no more anybody else. Just a father and daughter having fun. Flex, man, you have to come. This is important to Candy. Besides, your name is on the flyer as our celebrity single. Mm -hmm. It says here the celebrity single is Flex Washington. <laughs> It feels so good to be walking down the hall and not to be worried about Josh or Arnaz and how much they in love with me. <laughs> oh, girls, Arnaz looking at me. No. <laughs> See, and I don't even care. Oh, maybe that's Josh. Hello? Yeah, sure, I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight. Daddy, come on, remember our pact. Say it with me. Stay strong, others are wrong. Stay strong, others are wrong. <laughs> Better? Okay, love you too. Bye. You know, this whole pack thing with you and your dad just seems silly. How can you swear off guys? We're 16-year-old girls. What else is there? <laughs> Spirit, I don't expect you to understand. When you spend your whole life on a pedestal, <laughs> your legs get really tired, girl, for real. <laughs> Besides, my dad needs me, and I need to stay strong for him. Girl, I know Arnez is looking at me. Just tell me, is he looking? <laughs> no. <laughs> now look, I met a cute guy. I think my new hair is working for me. <laughs> and he has a cute friend, and we're going to Dave and Dan's Playtown on Friday night. You want to come? Yeah, sure, I'll meet you there. My dad loves that place. Great food, great games, fun for everyone. <laughs> Who's trying to hang out with your dad? I'm trying to hook us up with some thug passion. Hey. Oh, hey, Arnest. Look at you, sounding all sexy. <laughs> Boy, you need to stop. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I'm sorry, Brianna, were you saying something? <laughs> yeah, but not to you. Boy, you need to stop. Okay, I'm back. Let me look in my purse and see if I can find you some spackle. Because your face just got cracked. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even care about him. I'm all about having fun, and nothing's more fun than hanging out with my dad. You thought I wouldn't approve of your video game collection. And I was afraid how you make him grab your full attention. Situated in northern Germany, on the Elbe River, Hamburg is about 60. Okay, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, only to save you the trouble. Hello? Oh, hey, Spirit Girl, how you been? A movie? Tonight? Oh, with your cutie and his friend? <laughs> Heck no. I'm watching a documentary with my dad. It's off the chain. Is that Hitler? Hey, Flex, man, I need you to cross the hall, dog. There's too many single women in my apartment. Dwayne, check it out. 
the women on TV aren't really in your apartment. No flex, it's hasty hookups, man. Not enough guys showed up. Just come on over and make an appearance while we round up a few guys from the homeless shelter. Dwayne, can't you see that my little girl and I are bonding? We're watching, are those Nazis? It's okay, Daddy, go. Oh, don't worry, I'm just gonna help Dwayne for a few minutes. Still me and you, kid. Now, what do we say? In, In it together, together tougher than leather. <laughs> hey, Spirit. Hey, could we get your cuties, homeboy, on three-way? I'm ready for a little thug passion. <laughs> Let's get this over with, man. I can't think of anything more boring than a room full of desperate women. Falling out of their dresses. Hello, ladies. I'm Bex Washing Stone. <laughs>
Okay, I don't think I want you to leave. <laughs> Play through, brother. Bye, my nose. Bye, my nose. I need to see a pay stub first. Uh, time, ding, rotate. I'm a social worker. Well, more of an advocate for children, really. If there's a child in danger, it's my job to save them. Oh, do you wear a cape? <laughs> oh, listen to me. I must be going on too much about what I do. Oh, no, no. I love listening to you, please. Then why don't we get together tomorrow night and you can hear me talk some more? Mm, it's a date. And I want to see your checking account, your savings account. Do you have a house? Oh, thank God. Friday night. Hanging out with your dad during the week is one thing, but on the weekends, only white people do that. <laughs> and what about plug passion? Girl, you don't understand. I want to go to Dave and dance with you guys, but I can't. My dad needs me, and a pack is a pack. Look, I didn't want to have to use this, but this is my man's friend. <laughs> Mother of all that is perfection. Is he real? Or did you cut him out of my dreams? Oh, uh, Brianna, I just got some bad news. I found out that I'm gonna have to work late tonight. That's too bad. How long do you picture you'll be working? Uh, I'm interviewing Serena Williams, so, you know, it might be a while, you know, because she wants to get some things off of her chest about tennis. And, uh, so don't wait up, because I'm going to be gone it's long, I'm really long, I'll be gone. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, but when you come home, don't wake me. I'm going to be sound asleep, you know, with my eyes closed tight, not moving a muscle, and alone, and, and not making a sound. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm just going to be sleeping. Okay, now, if, if you don't want me to do this interview, I, I can blow it off. No, no, it's okay. I understand. I get the picture. <laughs> it's your job. Okay, good, baby. All right. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, say it with me, girl. It's you and me. I'm finally free. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so why don't you guys go get us some more tokens? You know, so Spirit and I can talk about you, my little Savion lover. It didn't take you long to get back to your play away. <laughs> well, girl, you know. <laughs> what was I thinking? No boys? It's like no air. And to think, I just wanted to hang out with my... Daddy! <laughs> I know, girl, you were insane. You were all Brianna interrupted. <laughs> no, girl, my daddy is right there. Oh, I gotta hide. <laughs> How's my form, Flex? Ah, it's great. I can't wait to get you out there on the fairway. Flex, you're a great date. You're a wonderful uh. listener. <laughs> you took me to a nice dinner. I think we're really hitting it off. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see where we go next. Uh, well, I was thinking about taking you to Brianna. <laughs> Never been there, but it sure gets you excited. No, 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 no. My daughter Brianna, she's over there. You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Please don't tell me you have a wife. Well, yes. No, uh, sort of. Define wife. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you have a daughter and a wife? No wonder you let me do all the talking. You're a nightmare. No, no, no. no. You don't understand. It's my new thing. See, I'm hiding from my daughter because I'm cheating on her. <laughs> met freaks on the internet. Ron, it's not what you think. See, my, my daughter broke up with both her boyfriends, and I broke up with my fiance because I found out I was still married, even though I got a divorce 15 years ago. You know what? That whole not talking thing, I get it now. Well, good. Stop moving. She can see me. This is ridiculous. Brianna, you're cheating daddies over here. <laughs> hey, daddy. You know, I didn't want to bother you because you were on an interview. Hey, Serena. Girl, you look different. Don't let your guilt trip on me, miss. I'm gonna be at home, sleep with my eyes closed. Ooh, look at me, I'm sleeping, Daddy. <laughs> you broke our pact here with, with Lil' Predator. Actually, his name is Lamont, but we can call him Lil' Predator. <laughs> look, I can see you two need some help. 
And as a child welfare professional, I can tell you it's not unusual for a parent and a child to cling to each other and shut out the world when they've both been hurt. You have to be with people your age, and you have to be with people your age. As sweet as the thought, you just can't be everything to each other. Daddy, I like her. She gets us. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to see you again if that's possible. No chance. <laughs> Obviously, you can't be trusted. No, but wait, I'm saying I'm... Look, Daddy, I'm sorry. I am too, sweetie. But she's right. Yeah, we should be around people our own age. New pact? New pact. Okay, repeat after me. Just you and me, two together. Uh, Daddy. Newer pack, no more slogans. <laughs> Agreed. All right, you want to go home? Uh, actually, Daddy, my date's still here. See ya. <laughs>